out there. Your mama right there. That was daddy that was sitting on top garden and even calling again. Here's my current, uh, I guess, batch number three from my Phyllobates Terribilis yellow pair that I have. Um, don't really have a very good setup yet. Uh, plan on making something for the basement where my actual frog room is at, but for the time being, I've been doing keeping them in my kitchen where it's a little bit warmer. Um, and actually, here's uh, their latest clutch before this, I suppose. Coming along nicely. I'm just showing you what I was about to do. I was counting these guys here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Which is pretty good. Uh, clutch number two actually had 20 eggs, um, which is a boatload, in my opinion. And then the first batch, uh, I'd have to go back and, and take a look, but probably post pictures in this video of all three batches. I want to say there's around nine um, with one tadpole uh, making it out of those. So um, obviously we got quite a few more going here. <clears throat> a lot of better success rate so far than batch number one. So hopefully these have a similar outcome. I'm just gonna put some spring water in here. Just to where it touches the eggs. Probably a little bit more so I can clean some of this debris out. I don't think you guys can pick it up in the video, but I actually hear the male calling again already. Dude's getting after it. So I did not uh, replace a petri dish. This time, hoping to give them a little bit of a break, cut back on their food a little bit, give mama a rest. That's good for right now. <clears throat> I'm taking this pipe pad here. So I can some of the debris out. Don't have to worry about all of it. Probably the camera's all over the place, just doing this on my phone. So I didn't leave these in all that long as I have in my previous two. Um, literally came home from work this afternoon and saw those, saw the two in the hut. About an hour or so later, actually probably, probably closer to three hours later, went back down and this is what I found. But all up here pretty dark for the most part. Look pretty good. Let's see if I can't get that. There we go. I'll uh, place water, some water again in here. Again, just up to where it touches the edges of the, the eggs. Make sure not to put too much in there to drown them to where they can't get any oxygen. One thing I'll have to figure out as well. So when I put this petri dish in originally, I put the lid in, I'm showing off. not uh, 
this one. So I got egg up there against the edge, so it's going to be harder. on this one. Alright, so as I was saying before, my wife came down. She's, it's her birthday and they're doing a, a Zoom video with family since she her birthday kind of got ruined. Um, anyways, I was saying, next day put the lid portion of the Petri dish in on the Cocoa Hut, which is much thinner. Um, since I place a lid on top to help keep the humidity in, um, it's going to be a bit of an issue since they laid on the lid with this egg up against the edge. Um, I may try to move it a little bit later once I know it's good towards the center so I can then come in and place the bottom down on top. Help keep that humidity up. But what are you going to do? Pretty bad glare. That's why I have the napkin underneath it. Those are the ones I got going good right now. How many is that? 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 out of 20. Not too shabby. And there's my lone tadpole from clutch number one right there. Got them in a single cup. Um, I'm obviously. I'm not going to do that with all 14 of these guys. Um, Terrabellus tadpoles can be kept communally. They won't munch on each other as long as they're relatively the same size. <clears throat> Get a better view of the ones on the napkin. Um, so what I'll do is once these guys break out of their uh, egg sacs, um, I will probably place them in a 32 ounce Deli cup like this guy here, or you guy even got like a 128 ounce one. I might throw them all in there from start to finish, or at least until they get much larger. Probably go out and get a uh, small tank <clears throat> uh, to place them in uh, versus this the regular, you know, 120 uh, 32 ounce dish or cup. Excuse me. Right. Just placing some water back in here. crazy here with the Zoom. But she's got like 15 people over family up on Zoom right now. Trying to figure it all out. Not the most uh, technology savvy people. My daughter's eating chips right over my shoulder. Check on these in a day or so, see if he can go bad. No. 